Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario Odyssey playthrough. Last time we uh, explored the Cascade Kingdom, we found the Odyssey, we've given power back to the Odyssey, we even collected some additional power moons as well, and I think we're actually going to continue on with our adventure and move on to the next kingdom. I'm sure there are some things we can still do here, but uh, we'll be back here many times later on, so I think it's good just to kind of keep things moving, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, set sail to another kingdom. Which, we only have one other kingdom. Well, we can go back to Cap Kingdom, I guess, but uh, we're going to go to the Sand Kingdom today. I believe the Sand Kingdom is called uh, Tost Arena, if I'm not mistaken. Then you can also look at, like, lists to see, like, you know, what power moons you found and, you know, what other power moons are technically available. I think there are some of these that, even though they're in this list, you still can't get them right now. So keep that in mind. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to the Sand Kingdom. <laughs> solid hat. Solid, solid hat. I wish I had a hat like that. So, how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground pound. To smash blocks or enemies below you or flatten out bumps in the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Press ZL and midair to do a ground pound and pulverize with your posterior. Well, there it is. If you need some more of you, you might want to look at the action guide. Sounds good to me. So, yeah, here's just, like, some bonus information. Controls, basic actions, capture actions. Here's the capture list, by the way. You can look at all the captures in the game that you can get in this. Which is kind of cool. You have some travel hints. Talks about a bunch of different things. These are all things I'll go over at some point in the future. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how this works. Uh, you can actually do this game two-player as well. There's kind of a two-player co-op mode, which is kind of neat. Never actually gotten a chance to use that, though, unfortunately. It's, al it's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu and select Action Guide. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom, too. As you no doubt piece together, it is entirely covered in sand, and as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some ruins there, and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. So yeah, Bowser's going to be going to a bunch of different kingdoms, and uh, yeah... Usually there's something in each of these kingdoms that Bowser wants that'll have to stop him from acquiring, I guess you could say. But yeah, this is uh, the Sand Kingdom. The Sand Kingdom is huge, by the way. This is one of the bigger kingdoms of the game. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of that tower is shining, but how could that be? Could it be a power moon? 
Ooh, okay, so, yep. Looks like we have, uh, we have some work to do. Things are getting kind of chilly in the desert kingdom for some reason. <laughs> it is really odd when you think about it. But yeah, this, this kingdom is huge. This is like a really, really big area. And you'll have to, uh, explore quite a bit of it if you want to find and get everything. But, um... You know, that's, that's this game in a nutshell. This game was kind of made to be, like, kind of an open-world game. Kind of like the Breath of the Wild, but for the Mario series. And honestly, like, I mean, I think I think the main reason is I'm just, you know, more adept to platformers. But um, I definitely took to this game a little more than Breath of the Wild. I did enjoy Breath of the Wild, but, um... I don't know, I just had more fun with this game overall and I think the proof in that is that I've actually beaten on this game 100% twice as opposed to Breath of the Wild which I haven't even beaten once it's just at some point I'll get around to beating Breath of the Wild because I do enjoy it it's just I think for this kind of game it just kind of um it, it's easier to digest at least in my opinion it's easier to digest and just kind of get through everything at once Ooh, what's this down here? Ooh, there's a... Looks like a seed of some kind? Where can we plant this? Well, let's not throw it off the... <laughs> the ledge, which I almost did, honestly. Let's see. We can also use this to... To get back up here. I think I know what I have to do with this seed, too. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of take it to where it needs to go. Let me just put this here for a second. Okay, I can't beat that up. Beat it up. <laughs> I can't beat up this ice. What's wrong with me? Um, but yeah, as you can see, the purple coins are once again regional coins. They, they I like how like every area their the currency actually like looks different too. It's kind of a neat little touch. I mean, that's the way it is in like real life. Is like you know some pl places have different currencies than other places. Wait, hold on. Wasn't there... A, oh, oh, the town's back here. Okay, well, let me go back. I meant to go to the town first. Because <laughs> I think this... I think the town is where we actually need to take this seed. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess these are Bowser's footprints. So he was here. The Bows was here. Okay, before I do anything in here, I want to kind of look around. Because I think there's, like... And see, so there's also a hundred uh, regional coins for this area, too. So that's something else we'll have to keep in mind. Okay, there's the planters. Whee! So we're going to go ahead and let these things plant. And then later on, we'll be rewarded for bringing those here. So that's the reason why we did that, pretty much. Let's do a little bit of exploring inside this town. Sounds like a good idea. Could be some goodies around, you never know. Oh, well there's actually a moon over there. I feel like, there, I think there's something I'm kind of missing with the jump. Because I remember you could still go a bit further with that. I must be forgetting something. But another thing I like is I like how all the power moons are also, like, different colors and, like, different regions as well. Okay. Oh, wait, no, shoot. I didn't want to go there. I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to do that. Just so I could get those coins. What the? Oh, no, no, no. That guy owes me money. <laughs> well, I guess he found the perfect escape, I guess. <laughs> okay, so well, welcome to our shop. Okay, so here 
this is the shop. I believe every world has a shop, or every world that has like regional coins at the very least. Also, look at this doggo. This doggo's cute. Uh, so there's two shops. There's the the regional shop where this is where you can buy stuff with regional coins. So as you can see, there's stuff we can buy. You can buy outfits, and you can also buy souvenirs. I think ultimately, if you want to get 100% in this game, you have to purchase everything. So keep that in mind. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. We're going to... We're going to wear some of the local attire, I guess you could say. Because I think we actually need to actually wear this too for a certain mission as well. I just like how the, like, the cap changes too. And then you can use this to change your clothes at any time if you just want a quick place to change. Oh, but I actually meant to go back in. Hold on. Go back. Go back in. So I have to show the other shop. This is the shop where you can use regular coins. And you can buy a life up heart. You can also buy a power moon. And um, I believe every kingdom has a power moon that you want to at least buy one of. So we're going to go ahead and do that. See, the mission's even called Shopping and Toasterina. And then you can also buy Mario's boxer shorts and have them run around pretty much almost naked if you want if you want to do that if for some reason that's what you desire that is something you can do i'm not judging i think you actually have to do that for a mission too <laughs> which is kind of funny um okay do this let's see travel tip crouch when you see something interesting out of reach and the ceiling is too low for you to get there normally Press ZL to crouch. You can walk that way. Okay, there we go. And we're going to actually go in here. going to sneak inside the shop and grab the power moon that they're hiding behind here. Can we actually talk to you? Uh, we can interact with you, but they don't seem to mind too much that I'm back here. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, the shop. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back at the different shops of the game, especially once we get all the regional coins so we can purchase everything because it is something we will need to do. Uh, what does this do again? Yo, what's this? There's a prize in this party room, but you to find it, you have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble, let it move you to the prize. So this basically follows your controller's rumble. And you basically wait till where the rumble is the strongest, which I think it's like right here. Yep, there it is. So yeah, there'll be there'll be other missions like this where we have to do kind of the same thing as we go throughout the game. Okay, anything else? I mean, there, there's a lot to do. <laughs> there's a lot to do in this game. That's the thing. Be prepared for lots of content. I think we have like another little mini game house right here. Play some slots. The Toasterina game that's winning worldwide fame. Okay. Power. Okay, yeah, let's definitely do it then. And that's all you gotta do, really. It's really no different than those old, like, Donkey Kong Country bonus games, honestly. <laughs> okay, no. They let you know if you are got all the power moons already. But you could do that to get, like, some extra health if you wanted to do that. You have to earn it, but it's not like it's hard to earn or anything. Okay, so let's grab that. Oh, we actually didn't get these coins earlier. It's because I kind of go started going around the outskirts of the area which we, I guess we still can because I believe there are some things over here too yeah 
this. Roll Mario. Roll like a ball. Roll like ball, Kirby. One of my least favorite power-ups in Kirby's Adventure. Um, yeah, I really wish you could jump instead of doing the dive button again for that maneuver. Okay, so these should look familiar. So collect all the music coins to get something good. In this case, another frickin' power moon. Also, I see that bird. There's like a bird flying around. I think we do want to interact with that bird, too. Let's see if we can get it coming back this way. Oh, nope, it's flying away. I can't believe it flew away. Lakitu! What happened to you, buddy? You got frozen. See, as you can see, there's some regional coins under this ice, which usually means we'll have to, like, kind of complete some of the main story quest to get access to that, so... That's why it's, like, not... Re it's kind of a good idea to try to get everything done with the main quest before you start trying to do everything else. Yeah. Where the birds gather. That did look very suspicious, admittedly. Okay, I don't see that bird anymore, so we'll keep going for now. What's this? Travel tip, cap jump. Hold Y down and throw in your cap, and you'll spin in place for a little while. Oh, let's try that, actually. Whee! Okay, that's kind of neat. I think they intend for you to do this to... Do something like that, I guess. That would be my guess, anyway. Okay. Yo, is that a Koopa down there? That is a Koopa. Wee. Hey, dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. That's what trace walking is all about. If you can walk like a champ, you'll win a prize. Want to try it? Sure. Sweet. The rules are cake. Just walk around and follow the arrows on the ground. Here's the fun part, though. The arrows disappear after a bit. You gotta score 80 points or more to win. Let's go. So, if this is... If there's anything that's like Mario Party in this game, let this be that thing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm going to guess, like, 60. Uh, uh, that was better than I thought, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's try again. But yeah, this is such a Mario Party minigame. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, that should be good. I mean, I thought it was good. Oh, come on! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. One point. <laughs> okay, come on. We got this. <sighs> Man, I don't know why my... aim is off when I get, like, past those cactus balls. Okay. That should be it. That's, like, that's gotta be, like, a 90 right there. 95. That was good. That walk was serious business. Boom, this power moon is yours. Now, I think you have to do this again. I just don't remember if it's available right now. Okay, he says out of prizes, so... Later, we can come back and there'll be some other things we can do. But for now, that's gonna be it. Yo, what's up, buddy? Don't touch that stuff. Maybe you can ride something across it. 
Eh, probably. That's, that sounds like something we'd be able to do. Oh, what's this over here? Okay, notice how this thing has kind of a uh, little pole doodad on it? Well, that usually means we can uh, control it, so to speak. And if we do this... Power Moon! So there we go. I also like how it actually tells you, like, oh, you got the you got that uh, Power Moon on this date. <laughs> like, they really want to keep track of, like, when you get certain things. So, like the game said, I can get these later. Um, I could try to... Oh my god. This is totally not worth it. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got it. <laughs> we did the dumb thing and we didn't get punished for it. At least for now, anyway. Oh, that's the Koopa. Okay, I was like, what is that over there? It's like, oh, that's the Koopa we just interacted with. Okay, so we've done we've done quite a bit in the Sand Kingdom. I should probably head towards at least the first objective to be done with that before the end. Probably not a bad idea, honestly. Kind of want to see what's over here, though. Whoa, we're sinking. Jump, jump. I want to say that is actually something in there. Like, that's like a bonus room. I won't humor that idea right now, though. But we'll humor it later. Okay, anything going on? Oh, a Bullet Bill. Bullet William. Good old Bullet William. So, well... We can actually use Bullet William to do stuff like this. But yeah, it's just really cool how you use like a bunch of different uh, like Mario enemies to figure out puzzles and make progress in certain worlds. Meanwhile, there are, like, other captures, like the cactus, for example, that are pretty one-note, but <laughs> I'd, I'd say, like, a good number of them are at least, like, you know, there's at least some functionality with them. Let's see. Ground pound. We already... We actually got that hint before we came here. <laughs> Game? Come on, let's not be silly now. Actually, do be silly. Silly's good. Nothing wrong with silly. Okay, I'm actually gonna go this way first. Um, this bullet bill is bullet bill is trying something. Oh shoot! I kind of want to see what's through this way though. Okay, that literally just took me around here. <laughs> that was so freaking pointless. Oh, this is actually how I get up here. Oh, shoot. Oops. Yeah, still though, there's still something. Oh, okay, you know what? I think I know where I'm supposed to take that bullet bill. There we go. Aha! A shortcut. The best kind of shortcut. The convenient kind. Um, okay, I can go this way.
I think we're actually almost at the top of this tower, so after we get to the top of this, we'll probably stop the video there. Might be a good idea. Okay, there we go. Oh, Power Moon hiding just over there. Why did it go back over there? <laughs> That seemed a little unnecessary. Oh. So yeah, this is another transformation. That just is like binoculars you can take to look around. I think that's the that's the moon it wants us to get, I believe. Okay. Bullet Bill. Thank you. I want to say there's another... Yeah, there's a moon all the way over there. Um, did I get a checkpoint? I did. Okay, I'm going to see if I can grab the uh, moon that's over here. Nice. Okay, is there a quick and easy way I can get back? Kind of. I'll have to go through this again. That's okay. You know how it is in Mario games. Got to be often paying classic tribute to your 2D roots. Okay. I think all we got to do is just climb this tower and then we're done. Um, oh, there's also some goodies there. You know what? Let's do it. Whee! Oh, that's actually another way we can get up here, actually. Oh, and I also saw some stuff down there, too. See, if, like, you're observant, like, you can get, like, probably, like, more moons than, like, before you even get to the, uh, like, the actual story missions. Oops. Did not mean to touch that. And there we go. Atop the highest tower. So that's the first story mission. Next is going to show us the next one we'll be work working towards. Moon shards in the sand. Well, we're going to take a look at that next time because uh, we've been going for a while. We've gotten some good progress done in the here in the Sand Kingdom. So we're going to grab that flag. I uh, might also jump down to take care of some of the other stuff down there. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Later, folks.